Okay, so this is looking at um, another variation on the edit profile tool um, for a project here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to build um, a quick platform for level two. That's this piece that's running up above this edge, sort of this balcony piece. Um, I'm going to draw it in level one and then use what it's being hosted to to actually move it up a level. Um, simply because if I go to level two, I don't have my floor plan in place. So this is a little bit of a hack here, but we'll get it to come together. So level one, um, I'm going to draw a floor and I'm just going to track this perimeter edge to here and then on up around just like this just to kind of build um, a little bit of a reference for how this wall is going to work. Okay, so let's do that. Take a look at it in 3D, and then I'm going to move this from level one to level two simply by clicking that. I know my level two, that's a little bit too low, so let's move this dude up to like something like that. So this is in no way exact, but it's going to give us a little bit of that idea of where this wall is going to be. So this is a wall that's made up of um, this sort of, um, well, they're wooden two bys is what they are, and they're all sort of at different angles. So I'm just going to work off of my level two plan now, and I'm going to start with the basic wall, and I'm going to use the um, six inch, generic wall type as a starting point. I'm going to draw this wall in by its finished face exterior, and I'm going to trace it right around the perimeter. And if you notice, this is actually putting it on the wrong side of the line. So I'm going to use my space bar to flip it to the side that I want it to be at. So let's put that right across there. So if I look at that in 3D, that is a 20 foot tall wall. It's a bit much, I think they're more like 12. So we're going to set up something like this, okay? So these walls, um, this is actually made up of a series of two bys that are at an angle. And there's a whole different ways, there's a slew of different ways that I could build these. Um, I could certainly do it with generic components or something like that, but building this out of a wall is going to give me a little bit of an easier opportunity to edit them as a group. At least I think it's going to. So I'm going to be using this edit profile tool. And let's start, uh, and I'm definitely fictionalizing this here, right? So um, don't, don't overestimate that I'm actually building this 100% right. But I'm going to start by doing that as a one and a half inch thick piece. So it is one and a half inches thick this direction, five inches that direction. Or, so, or six inches that direction. And if I want to be super cool about this, and I really do, I'm actually gonna edit my structure to be 0, 5.5. So that's actually a two by six, inch and a half by five and a half. And then I need to rename this generic 5.5 because I don't like my inches to not match my name. That confuses me. I have enough trouble as it is. So I've got this first piece already done. It's not going to accept that because I have this rogue line over here. So once I delete that, I've reduced this down to just a single two by six, right? Let's go back and say edit profile again. And what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to take that guy and I'm going to copy it over not offset it, copy it, Dave, copy. Let's go from here. Come on, work with me here. Copy, there we go. And I'm going to copy that over. And then maybe I want to take this top edge and move it over as well. So to do that, I'm simply going to grab this piece right here and pull it to the side. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to run my offset, inch and a half, and then I'm going to trim. I'm always trimming what I want to keep, right? 
So I've got something like that happening. So now I've got two of those pieces. So let's screen checkbox that. And you can take a look. Now I've got two of those coming together. Okay, so from here, let's select it again, edit profile. So from here, let me just kind of go stupid crazy with it. And let's start looking at this as in the ability to create whatever I might need these shapes to do. Right? So that gives me the chance to make this sort of progressive element across. So the building that we're looking at, the precedent we're looking at, actually is a series of these that sort of change angle along the profile. But I think that's going to be the most effective way to begin building those pieces. You know, the other opportunity would be to do them as a generic component. Um, but using a wall as a starting point just kind of gives you that base um, to start working with really easily. Let's look at using that um, component um, method, though. Uh, and I would again, I would start the same way. I would put a base wall in place simply to give you a reference plane to work off of. But if I wanted to use the component method, I would come down and go model in place, generic models. And then from here, I would do an extrusion. And I would set my reference plane by picking this outside surface of the wall. So when I turn on show, that is now my drawing plane that I'm working on, is that outer edge of a wall. So from there, again, I can start by selecting the base. And again, I can use the profile edge of that wall um, to make sure I'm locking in my height. I'm actually going to turn off my line thicknesses really quick just so it's a little easier to see. And then I used pick lines to grab the top. I can use pick lines to grab the bottom. And again, I can't do that if I don't have that wall in as a base to work with. And then I'm going to set my extrusion start to zero. And my extrusion, or excuse me, extrusion start to zero and my end to zero 5.5 .5, or five and a half inches. And I'm going to hope that that goes in the right direction. Um, and of course it didn't, so I know that my extrusion actually needs to be minus 0, 5.5 to send that the other direction. Cool. So to continue to add those up, um, I would just continue to edit the extrusion. And again, I can just continue by picking the line at the top, picking the line at the bottom. I'm not worried about those warnings because I know that once I get my lines in place, offset an inch and a half, that when I trim those, that warning was for overlapping lines. I know that once I get my lines trimmed, I won't have those overlapping lines anymore. So pick lines, pick lines, get these next lines in place, offset an inch and a half, trim, Trim. Oh, I think I destroyed a line someplace. Yep. Always click what you want to keep when doing the trim tool. Always, always click what you want to keep. I click the wrong side of the line. So again, if I click over here, it's going to bend this way. It's going to create that connection. If I click here, it's going to keep the part of the line that I wanted. Cool. So once I have that set up um, and green checkbox, excuse me, I can simply select that wall and delete it, and I will have those pieces left over. There are two methods to accomplish the same thing. You know, the one concern, just thinking this through, the one concern that I might have about this is there is a one oops click away from losing all of the effort and energy that you would put into this, and that is reset profile. I suppose that I should be able to undo it, but that's a little bit terrifying that I might sort of, you know, accidentally do that and lose all that effort and energy. With this, uh, for me to lose all that, I'm having to go through edit in place, edit the extrusion, you know, and then delete them. 
So there is something maybe a little bit uh, more of a safety safe about working this method. Um, but I think either one would work really, really well in terms of building that sort of sloping set of two by columns along the outside edge of this project.